What's up, family? A lot of people are celebrating the 4th of July holiday today in America. So as you cue those hot dogs, drink your drink, smoke your smoke, pop those fireworks, cover yourself in confetti, and sing the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner until your heart is content. Consider these eight things that you didn't know about the 4th of July. Number one, the colonies officially declared independence on July 2nd. On July 2nd, 1776, the Second Continental Congress approved Delegate Richard Henry Lee's motion for independence, dissolving the political bands that connected the 13 American colonies in the crown. July 4th is celebrated as Independence Day because the Congress approved the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, after two days of debating and revising its contents. The Declaration was just a formal statement and explanation of the split affected July 2nd and it seems the Founding Fathers intended July 2nd to be celebrated as Independence Day. Number two, few if any members of Congress signed the Declaration of Independence on the 4th of July. Historians disagree on the precise order of the signing, but it seems most signatories didn't put their names on the document until August 2nd. Although several of the Founding Fathers, including Benjamin Franklin and John Adams later wrote that they signed the Declaration on July 4th, many other signatories weren't present in Philadelphia until later. Furthermore, the document's language underwent constant revision until it was approved on July 4th, and it would have taken time for an official copy to be handwritten on parchment, making it unlikely that the final copy was signed on July 4th. Number three, Thomas Jefferson's draft of the Declaration of Independence hypocritically condemned slavery. Although Thomas Jefferson owned slaves, his original draft of the Declaration contained the language condemning King John III's support for the slave trade as a cruel war against human nature itself, violating its most sacred rights of life and liberty. Despite such stirring humanistic language, it seems that Jefferson's main complaint against the English king was related to Dunmore's proclamation, a 1775 law passed by Lord Dunmore, the British governor of Virginia. The proclamation promised Virginian slaves freedom in exchange for serving in the British Army. Slave-owning delegates to the Second Continental Congress objected to the slavery passage of Jefferson's draft, and it was removed after debate. The only portion that made it to the final declaration was the phrase, he has excited domestic insurrections among us, in reference to King John's support for Dunmore's proclamation. Number four. Be extra careful when driving on the 4th. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, over the past five years, an average of 118.4 people died each Independence Day, making it the day of the year with the most fatal car crashes. For motorcyclists, the 4th of July proved particularly dangerous, with the holiday reportedly resulting in an average of 25.8 deaths, more than double the daily national average of about 12.1 deaths. The second highest number of fatal crashes over the past five years occurred on New Year's Day, which had an average of 118.2 deaths each year. Number five, your fireworks and American flag were probably made in China. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the United States imported $311.7 million worth of fireworks from China in 2015, almost 96% of total U.S. fireworks imports and an increase from the 247.1 million worth imported in 2014. In comparison, the U.S. exported only $12.7 million worth of fireworks. Singapore purchased 4.6 million of these, more than any other country. China goods also accounted for almost 98% of all U.S. imports of American flags in 2015. Americans spent $4.4 million on imported U.S. flags that year. 4.3 million of which came from China. Mexico was the biggest purchaser of American flags created in the United States, buying $2.4 million worth, more than 77% of total flag exports on the Stars and Stripes. Number six, three U.S. presidents have died on Independence Day. Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and James Monroe all died on the 4th of July. In a providential twist, 
Adams and Jefferson both died within hours of one another on July 4, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration's passage. James Monroe also died on July 4, though he outlived Jefferson and Adams by five years, passing away in 1831. Only one president, Calvin Coolidge, has been born on the 4th of July. Number seven, July 4th is also a holiday in the Philippines and in Rwanda. In the Philippines, July 4th is celebrated as Republic Day, commemorating the United States' formal recognition of the independence of the Republic of the Philippines on July 4th, 1946. July 4th was celebrated as Philippine Independence Day until 1962, when the date of the Independence Day was changed to June 12th to mark the Philippine Declaration of Independence from Spain in 1898. In Rwanda, July 4th is Liberation Day, a national day that marks the end of the 1994 Rwandan genocide and the beginning of the reconciliation and nation building in Rwanda. Number eight, the melody of the Star Spangled Banner came from the official song of an English club and the lyrics were written by racist Francis Scott Key. The tune that Francis Scott Key set the lyrics of the national anthem to came from To Anacreon in Heaven, the constitutional song of the Anacreotic Society, a gentleman's club in London. The club was named for the Greek poet Anacreon, who was famous for his verse about women and drinking, and the song was likely a tavern standard in colonial America. Francis Scott Key owned several slaves, and as an attorney for the District of Columbia, he notoriously prosecuted the abolitionist Reuben Crandall in the aftermath of the 1835 race riot in Washington. The lyrics he wrote in the third verse of the national anthem that is purposely left out of performances at schools, gymnasiums, sports and entertainment complexes around the United States is as follows. No refuge could save the howling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave and the star-spangled banner in triumph doth wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. So there you have it, the 4th of July and all of its splendor. Before you celebrate your history, know your history. On a personal note, I don't celebrate the 4th of July, but if somebody invite me to a good barbecue and they know what they're doing on that pit, I'm going to give me a plate. Maybe two. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.